Good evening, Matthew. Happy birthday. It's number 40 for you. Apparently it's a custom in the uh, the house over there on Mariposa Street to uh, for someone to read a poem. And uh, someone uh, named Smokey had uh, asked me to uh, come up with a poem and read one for your party. And I do wish I could be there, I really do. Um, but I guess this will have to suffice and uh, I, will, uh, I will make sure to have uh, a couple for you here. Uh, before the uh, before the hour is up, or at least before the night is up. At any rate, uh, get, let's get right to it, and that way you can get back to your party. Um, the name of the poem is Desert Years, or 40 years in which an otherwise staid grammarian dons his buffo cap and bells to tease out a paean to age and wisdom and hammer out a good riddance to youth and folly. To Matthew. One. Prologue. Before that booze and business of the sharpened pen began for you, your early training took a look at primer lines, a triple stitch of pen line track that shaped and drove your words with sober sense. And then you learned to hold your liquor dink with limes and gin, to jig your syntax, pour your words in equal parts. These forty years you fritted life with art and arts, have kept your straight and narrow crooked and cracked awry enough to balance bitter prayers with sweet and dry, a doubled-up Manhattan with cheery cherry hearts. 2. Adjectives Before you wed or fathered, adjectives became your necessary evil. Fruitless, sparse, morose, such drossy adjectives decanting los across alluvial fields, spilled perhaps to kill some time. But, right early in forty, Adjectives now come adjectives now come to you as sharp as clocks with ticks that whittle your stick of wants and desires to memories anachronistic of days and hours to moments funeral funereal but men and hands have also held you prodigal with verbs that drank prodigious and loved prolific three verbs and let's linger a bit on these timely verbs of yours, the ones that peg your heart and date you to degrees you've lost with bachelorhood. All winds and seas are transitive calendars. On yours, you bend your oars to fight the flood the intransitive tide implores. But then a simple verb of being linked your bliss to Juno's paycocks, and fair or foul. For love is like Noah's pigeon feathers, brassy nib and beak, both hunt and peck on broken ground, to seek that person, place, or thing of love, the is of does. 4. Nouns. We come at last to blocks that spill upon the floor and build from words to names to children. When, Teresa, Elijah, Olivia, Isaac, Finn. Each child has your byline each you held before you, marveling that the power of creation bore such tiny headlines. The power that pen to paper gives, the verbs receive as holy nouns, while adjectives of youth and folly yield to something more worthy. What followed forth from these, your desert years to forty, by age and wisdom, that fast became your feast of love. Happy birthday, old man. I guess to do I get to call you that now, old man as well? Um, you all want to uh, raise a glass to him? I will give a toast. I, I guess that was the toast, but now I get to drink. Um, and I, uh, again, I wish I was there, but in the meantime, this will have to do. And I, uh, I raise a glass to Matthew, and uh, uh, no dearer friend have I ever had uh, who knows how to drink. Notice that qualifier. Anyway, uh, Matthew, uh, I hope you enjoy your night. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your birthday. I thought about you all day yesterday and said some prayers for you, so if you felt extra good, that was probably why. At any rate, uh, without further ado, I'll let you get back to your party, but uh, just wanted to say uh, I wish I were there, and uh, those of people who are there are, are, are pretty darn lucky to, uh, to be able to uh, raise a glass with you in person. Um, I suppose that's all, and uh, enjoy, your, enjoy your evening.